is mm, there's a timer going so i don't know what time it is i think it's like 8 10. i wanted to share our kind of like morning routine today even though really we don't have a routine yet and i also got up and worked out today which i have not done i've only done it like once or twice since having her so this is a routine but the routine pretty much changes every day but we're trying to get into a routine so this is what i would like it to be every day the past two days i've been a little bit more like kind of strict with the schedule during the day and trying to have her follow that more closely and she's been sleeping better at night she last night she did two almost five hour stretches and then or did i just say last night two nights ago she did two almost five hour stretches which was great so she only woke up once and then last night i think she did like another almost five hour stretch and then like a three hour one or something and then i was gonna wake you up at 7 30 but you woke up at 7 huh? so i got up at 7 to do a little like 20 minute workout and then you woke up early but it's okay because dad got you out huh? i seriously feel so tired i don't know why like she's sleeping decent i think honestly everything is just like kind of catching up to me in our last vlog we did like a one month update and talked to how she's been kind of like a little bit more fussy i feel like we filmed that like a week ago we've been posting like one vlog a week so i can't even remember like what we said in there but i don't know we've been trying to figure out like why she's fussy so yeah obviously some babies are just like more fussy than others but we thought maybe she had like some tummy issues or something i don't know so i've been trying to not eat dairy for a couple days i also have a probiotic for her that i started um, like two days ago and I've been trying to keep her up right after feeding. So anyways um, I don't know why I'm so tired. Like my eyes literally just hurt I've been trying to go to bed at like 8 30 or 9 when I put her to sleep for the day And then even with her only waking up twice and she's been waking up and eating and just going right back to sleep So it's really not that bad, but I just am not sleeping like when I am sleeping It's not good quality sleep. I think I'm like up every second thinking like oh is it time for her to wake up yet or whatever Or like do I need to feed her which I don't wake up in the night to feed her i let her wake me up but just like the little noises she makes or whatever point is i'm freaking tired i keep saying it because i feel like my brain again that i've said this in every video for the past since i've had her my brain and everything feels just like scrambled yeah we're in survival mode a little bit but i'm gonna see if i can go put her down that's the hard part is she doesn't really like to be put down so it feels very hard to get anything done but i need to get some breakfast going put her started get some hash browns right here oh no are you already crying and i didn't even put you down it's okay i'm gonna try and put her in her swing for a minute Lasted three seconds in the swing. My toast is done. Yeah! Can you sing her a song? Do you want to sing her the Clifford song? Can you sing Big Red Dog? Should we do another piece of avocado toast? This is how the mornings happen. Yes. Yes. Daddy's out of the shower. He's going golfing. He's gonna go put her in her bassinet. Her first nap of the day is usually crappy. Like she wakes up 50 times and sleeps for like 10 minutes. And then we like rock her and try and get her back down and whatever. So yeah, that's great. Cause I like to get a lot of stuff done first thing in the morning, but Cove also stole my toast, which is fine. So <laughs> this is my new one. That's like, has bites taken out of it. But anyways, I'm gonna sit and enjoy my breakfast for a second. I'm about to take my vitamins these are from ritual thank you to ritual for sponsoring today's video these are the vitamins that i have been taking these are a postnatal vitamin so meant for like after pregnancy and the postpartum period is actually more nutritionally demanding than like the pregnancy period i feel like i can definitely feel that i feel like my immune system has been down just because like all the good stuff's going to my breast milk going to lola you just take two a day and the best part about these is that they have a minty aftertaste which i love because it just makes them so much easier to take so i've been trying to take these um um, they also sent these ones that Parker's been taking. This is the essential for men. So they have a multivitamin for men, women, 50 plus, teens. They also have one for kids and they have a prenatal too. And they have a subscription that is delivered to your door. So it's super convenient. They're vegan friendly, non-GML, gluten-free, allergen-free, and they have no added sugar. They're also really transparent with their ingredients and where they're sourced from, why they use them. They also use 100% uh, recycled materials. And the postnatal contains 15 essential nutrients for after pregnancy. As I'm trying to get my life together trying to create a morning routine these are definitely part of it and i also do have a code for 10 percent off of your first three months so the link for that is going to be down below and um, the code is aspen parker definitely check that out vitamins are so important especially around this time of year i feel like i've been sick so much lately like especially before i had lola um um 
Um, I finished my toast. Cove is sticking her hand in the apple juice to drink it. I also feel so bad this morning already because at like 5.30, Cove was crying and I didn't hear her because we had our sound machine on really loud for Lola in our room. And yeah, I feel so bad. She was crying for like 20 minutes. And when I finally like woke up and heard her, I looked at like the notifications and saw that I had been getting them for like 20 minutes. So I jumped up and ran upstairs and she was just yelling for dad, which he was asleep because we also, both of us didn't hear. She was just yelling, dad dad and crying so hard and it was literally the saddest thing ever so i feel so just like mom guilt which is great even though she wasn't even yelling for me she didn't even want me she wanted dad but it was so sad so she's been up for quite a while so hopefully she should take a good nap today it was super early so parker literally just like got up because she wanted him after i brought her into our room and she's had a show on i usually don't like to watch tv in the morning just because i like to start the day off like with no shows and usually we watch shows like after dinner if we watch them but this is morning routine with a newborn, which means that sometimes your toddler also wakes up at 5 a.m. And so you're so tired that you just turn on the TV. Should we get you ready for today? Mm, you my cutest baby. Or I guess I can't say that anymore, huh? Hey. <laughs> I have more than one. Hey, hello cutie. I love you. Okay, should we get you, okay. Should we get you ready? Let's get you ready for the day, okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's not spill. Me and Cope showered. She screamed the whole time because she did not want to shower. We are going to Ollie's birthday party later and I think we'll get home a little bit late. So um, I just know she's not gonna have time for bath. So got her showered. Lola slept for like maybe 30 minutes before she woke up, but it really throws off the schedule if she takes like a nap that's that short. And the schedule does not have to be perfect by any means, but the day just goes so much better if we just like try to get her back to sleep a couple of times versus just like let her take a nap that's that short. And usually she will fall back asleep. Then she wakes up, falls back asleep, wake up, fall back asleep, whatever. I know. I know, is it stuck? Oh, it is stuck. Okay, I'll help you. Two kids is just so hard. She was screaming, I gave her my phone. She was still screaming. I was trying to help Lola. I was trying to get myself dressed. I couldn't film because one, they were both screaming and two, we were all just like naked because I had just gotten out of the shower. But anyways, so Lola's hanging out right here. We're up in the playroom. And sometimes I just think, why is it so hard? Why does it have to be so complicated? Just hold Lola if she's crying and just keep Cope busy with like an activity or toys or something. It seems like it should be so simple, but it's just not, I don't know. So anyways, it's 9.53. I want her to sleep until like 10.30. So she's kind of just like sitting here going in and out of sleep. So hopefully she falls asleep for like a little bit again. But Cove is just playing and yeah, that's what we're doing right now. She's playing with all the toys in the closet instead of all the toys out here. What'd you say? This. That, no. This. What's this one? Blue. What's this one? Green, Green, yeah. What's this one? Red? Yes, yeah. Should we pick up a little bit in here? Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are you, Red? You looking for the red piece? Thirsty. That's so sweet though. I'm not this. Yeah. I did. It's just rubber. It's just rubber. I know. Yeah, you don't. You can eat. You can rub it. Mm-hmm. Dog 
dog wants food? Yes. What, yeah, yeah. Mm. what did you make for her? Chibi. What is it? Chibi. <laughs> what is it? True fruit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it is now 12.18. I just got Lola down for a nap and I put Cove down a little bit early since she woke up at literally like 5.30 in the morning. So I'm eating some lunch, leftovers from dinner last night. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm watching Below Deck and I had a photo shoot yesterday. So I have some pictures that I need to edit just like random computer work and stuff. So I'm gonna try and get that done before Lola has to get up in like an hour and a half. So things calm down a little bit. Luckily, once we like went up to the playroom and Cove was just like entertaining herself. So that was nice, but yeah, it was definitely a very crazy morning when they were both like screaming and crying, but that's just mom life. And that is it for our morning routine, kind of our morning routine right now while we're still trying to figure out a routine with a new baby. So yeah, it was a good day. I ended up going golfing in the morning, so that was a really fun morning routine for me. Aspen and I both have been trying to uh, plan our own individual things to get out of the house and go have some me time. So Aspen's been going to her workout class. She's been having girl nights more often. I went golfing. We're just trying to, you know, find some balance in our lives with uh, having two babies now. But anyways, that is the end of our kind of morning routine for right now. Before we end the vlog, I wanted to say thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring this this video. Make sure you go to the link in the description and use the code Aspen Parker if you want to get 10% off your first three months. That's all for today's video. Make sure you guys thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in our next one. Bye guys.